So else, I love sports, I love baseball, I love football. It stinks when it's that time of year where there is no football and you find yourself flipping through the channels and you land on like figure skating. Like what the hell am I watching here? Or like ESPN7, like trick shot pool or darts or hell the spelling bee, I don't know. And don't get me wrong, I love those things, but they're not sports, they're skill games. You're never gonna see a steroid scandal in like billiards. Like, did you see that guy break those balls? They turned into dust. <laughs> or like darts, what are they on? Like riddling, like thump, double bull. I was focused, fool. Uh, yeah, they're like thick needles with wings, son. <laughs> it's me being hard, it's me being hard. Then you got the World Cup soccer, you know? And I know there's a lot of fans out there for World Cup soccer, but to me, it doesn't seem to encompass the whole world. All you ever really hear about is U.S. versus Brazil and France versus Germany. That's why I think they should be fair and open up to the smaller countries and have third World Cup soccer. <laughs> oh, I'm not so cute anymore, huh? <laughs> they can play for like a big old cup of rice. <laughs> like a world-sized cup of rice. You have like Ethiopia versus Somalia. Imagine all these hungry guys running around like waifs. If one guy falls over from starvation, that's sudden death and your team wins. <laughs> Just saying. But it's not our fault, man. All these cable packages everyone has now, you know. I didn't even have cable growing up. First time I got cable was college. I got that basic cable. And see, it dawned on me the other day that these cable dealers are a lot like drug dealers. Because that basic cable is like your gateway cable. <laughs> it opens you up to a whole new world of cables. They give you a taste, don't they? But just like a drug deal, they want to get you hooked. So what do they do? They start talking about packages and good deals. <laughs> hey, man, what would you say if I gave you 3,000 channels in this whore over here for $29.99 a month? <laughs> I say, hell yeah, sign me up for that. Let's do that. <laughs> just like a drug dealer, eventually the price goes up, quality goes down. Now you got us freaking 80 channels for 125 bucks a month. You can't afford this and you know it. But then they lace that stuff with DVR, don't they? Mm -hmm. That stuff's you for. You can control time and space. You can go to the bathroom, make a sandwich. You don't miss a thing. One day it hits you. You haven't paid your rent in three months. Your dog's been dead for three days. Time to turn in your dish or your box or whatever the hell you got. That's a sad day for a man, you know? You might as well go in there and have them take away your manhood. <laughs> but they're like the mafia. They don't want to see you go. They pull you back in. They're like, Mr. Flanagan, we'll lower your bill, and we'll throw in HBO for one month free. But all you heard was HBO. HBO? That's like the cocaine of cable television. <laughs> That's some premium quality shows right there. Back in the day, Sopranos, Honorage. You know what HBO stands for. You're hooked, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all couldn't come up with anything else for you. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So thanks so much. <laughs> Chris Flanagan.